LG OLED C2 versus Samsung QD OLED. Which TV technology is better? The Samsung S95B is one of the first TVs to combine OLED and quantum dots, taking on top performers such as the LG C2. For several years, OLED TVs from LG and Sony have topped our TV ratings due to their excellent overall picture quality, compelling HDR performance, and nearly unlimited viewing angles. All of this has made OLED TVs the top choice for consumers seeking a cutting-edge TV viewing experience and willing to pay a premium for it. However, Samsung and Sony announced earlier this year that they would launch a new type of OLED TV called QD OLED in 2022, promising a few enhancements such as higher peak brightness and more vibrant colors that could make OLED TVs even better. The key component is the use of quantum dots to produce colors rather than a color filter. See below for a more in-depth look at the technology. We recently completed the first tests of a new QD OLED TV, the Samsung QN55S 95B, as well as the LG55 OLED C2 PUA, which employs the same technology found in all OLED TVs for nearly a decade. This model takes the place of the LG C1 OLED TV, which was our top-rated 4K television last year. Both of these 55-inch TVs are top-tier models in their respective companies' lineups. The LG C2 set is currently selling for around $1,800 at retailers such as Best Buy and Crutchfield, which is about $400 less expensive than the 55-inch Samsung S95B, which is currently selling for around $2,200 at retailers such as Amazon and Crutchfield. We'll go into great detail about our tests and what we discovered in our labs further down. But for now, let's get to the point. These are some of the best 4K TVs you can buy this year, with many of the differences we saw in our labs being most noticeable when the sets are placed next to each other in the same room. The Samsung is the brightest OLED TV we've ever tested, giving it an advantage in areas like HDR performance and color vibrancy, even when viewing from extreme angles. However, with most content, the LG deliver the same level of performance with more accurate colors and better contrast in darker scenes. As we explain in greater detail below, neither set could be declared a clear winner. Keep an eye out for further information. Also, if you want to receive new updates, remember to subscribe and enable notifications. Tech Talk on TV before we get into the specifics of our evaluation, we should first explain what OLED TV technology is all about and how the sets from Samsung and LG differ. OLED, which stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode, is an emissive technology, which means that each individual pixel emits its own light. OLED TVs can produce true deep black tones because each individual pixel transitions from bright to fully off. Most TVs, on the other hand, are LCD models that require a separate LED backlight behind the screen. Because the backlight is always on, an LCD set must selectively block it in certain areas of the screen during dark scenes, but some light always leaks into adjacent areas of the screen. As a result, even the darkest shadows on LCD TVs often appear gray rather than black. This can be addressed with a feature known as local dimming, but on sets with it, you may notice blooming or bright halos around light objects on dark backgrounds. This is less common on newer LCD sets, which use mini LEDs and a large number of local dimming zones. Until this year, all OLED TVs relied on a technology known as WOLED. This method implies a white OLED light source, which combines blue and yellow OLED material to produce white light as well as color filters to generate the red, green, and blue colors of the spectrum. Because color filters absorb some of the brightness, these sets include a white subpixel that bypasses the color filter to provide additional brightness. The disadvantage is that at the highest brightness levels required for HDR content, that extra white subpixel can cause colors to appear washed out. QD OLED TVs, which will be available this year from Samsung and Sony, take a different approach by replacing color filters with quantum dots, nano-sized crystals. QD OLED sets, like the QLED LCD TVs from several companies, including Samsung, use a blue OLED light source, with quantum dot material producing red and green light. 
The colors emitted by quantum dots when exposed to blue light are determined by their size and composition. QD OLED TVs have the potential to reach higher peak brightness levels without sacrificing contrast because they do not use color filters in front of the light source. Furthermore, the quantum dots contribute to the vibrancy of the image's colors even at higher brightness levels. Getting the TVs ready for testing In our TV testing, we optimize picture quality by using the same settings and controls that all consumers have access to. We began our HDR testing by setting the TVs to filmmaker mode. This generally optimizes the image by turning off features such as motion smoothing, sharpening, and noise reduction that detract from the original intent of the movie or TV show director. If a TV lacks filmmaker mode, we usually disable any dynamic processing and noise reduction controls. We also minimize sharpness while increasing the brightness of the OLED panels. Then we gradually adjust the settings until we get the best image possible. We also use dynamic tone mapping on the LG set. This feature automatically adjusts the brightness and color of the TV based on the content being displayed and the capabilities of the TV. When we played HDR movies, we discovered that dynamic tone mapping improved near black shadow detail as well as overall brightness and contrast. The setting also enabled a more accurate comparison to the Samsung. Although it lacked a tone mapping feature, it appeared to process contrast in a manner comparable to the LG when the feature was enabled. To ensure that the brightness was consistent across the entire screen, we ran through a series of grayscale images ranging from dark to bright. Both televisions passed the test with flying colors. Test Results These two sets ended up being the best performing models in their respective size categories, with only one point separating them in overall score. Both had excellent picture quality in HD and 4K, with excellent black levels, contrast, and overall color accuracy. They were both able to reveal the contrast between moderately bright and very bright highlights while preserving the brightness levels in mid to lower tones, as seen in many indoor scenes. And each TV did a good job of reproducing shadow detail from black to white with no obvious banding which is when you see subtle bands of shading between colors rather than smooth transitions. Furthermore, both sets were bright enough to provide most HDR content with the necessary headroom to convey a natural sense of daylight in sunny scenes while keeping brightly colored objects nicely saturated. None of this comes as a surprise. We were most interested in their differences. Our Opinion as previously stated, almost any viewer would be extremely satisfied with either of these two top performing sets. Samsung is now the top rated TV in our rankings for the 55 inch screen size category based on its overall score, though only by one point. It clearly wins in terms of peak brightness, it occasionally offers more saturated vibrant colors and it provides the best HDR experience we've seen from an OLED TV in some ways. If you want to squeeze an extra dollop of HDR performance out of a TV, the TV and its LCD-like brightness are probably the best option. However, within the dynamic range of most content including HDR, the LG excels, providing more natural-looking images and occasionally better contrast in darker areas of a scene. It also supports Dolby Vision, which has more support in movies and TV shows than HDR10+, which Samsung supports. It is also less expensive and has better sound. Furthermore, unlike LG's C2 series sets, which are available in screen sizes ranging from 42 to 83 inches, the Samsung S95B is currently only available in 55 and 65 inch screen sizes. But in reality, you can't go wrong with either set. We'll reserve judgment on the best OLED TV you can buy in 2022. Both of these models are excellent, but we have yet to test the new Sony A95K QD OLED or LG's flagship G2 series model. We'll have more to say once those TVs arrive in our laps. What are your opinions? Please leave your feedback in the comments section. That's all we've got for now. Thank you for taking the time to look at this. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care.